Good morning. I am lucky contestant number four, and I am here on behalf of AquaSpark, a mission-driven fund seeking to prove the investable case for a sustainable aquaculture. You've all seen the population graphs and the FAO reports. Feeding a growing population is the challenge of our time. Feeding, sorry, that. <laughs> feeding a growing population is a challenge of our time. Everybody is talking about it. But I see this room and it sees something special because we have the solution. And you can feel the energy because we are fired up about it. So, who am I? I come from the sunny shores of Panama. I am passionate about the oceans, and I love food. I never thought that would turn into a job until a TED Talk introduced me to aquaculture and changed my life. So I left my cushy Wall Street job and moved to the Netherlands to pursue a dream job, traveling the world and being part of this revolutionary movement. Our industry has massive potential, but it comes with a lot of problems. If it is going to grow the way we want, no, need it to, we need to recognize the issues. We need zero human rights abuse, sustainable, transparent supply chains, just to name a few. It's frustrating to see an industry that can offer so much suffer as it does. But newsflash, we're turning the corner and times are changing. Innovation has come in a big way. From artificial intelligence to lab-grown tuna, the fourth industrial revolution is shaping our industry, and with it, our farms. Look at this farm. It is absolutely stunning. They farm delicious Arctic char with an FCR under one. This should be industry norm, and we have the tools. But what we need is an industry investor base to be the catalyst. And AquaSpark could not be more excited about the investment opportunity of investing in a global high growth space where innovation and better practices can change food production as we know it and feed all social classes. AquaSpark is an early stage investor fund seeking to back the trailblazing producers that are painting a vision of a new industry and those brilliant innovators breaking down our challenges and showing just how efficient aquaculture can be. We are impact focused, but we are seeking competitive returns in the process because real change happens when it becomes the economically viable choice. So we're out to prove that sustainable aquaculture can be quite lucrative and therefore the only viable choice. So we are swinging for the fences, investing across the value chain and on a global scale, with the goal of investing in 60 to 80 companies across the value chain from the inputs to your supermarket shelf. But we aren't experts. We are continuously learning, and some might say aquaculture is rocket science. So we depend on the ecosystem and the broader industry to help us succeed. We work with industry leaders, a global group of awesome experts, among others, to help us identify the real problems and invest in the right solutions. Now, when we invest, we take a value-add approach, taking a board seat and bringing that network to our portfolio so we can all benefit from what's been going on. We believe in partnerships. We believe in creating synergies and working with all of you to help shape that future industry we all envision. Now, we may be in early days, but we think we are off to a great start, investing in 14 awesome companies that are changing this industry as we know it. A perfect example is eFishery a company that has developed data-driven smart feeders in order to reduce feed waste in ponds. So, 
What's my role in all of this? Well, I do the sourcing. I'm basically our eyes and ears. I have a view of the industry like this one, over the, over the top. I work with the startups, the strategics, and the broader industry. I watch the trends, absorb as much as I can, and try to invest accordingly. This gives me quite a view of what's going on. Here's what I'm seeing. We are the trend of the season. People around different backgrounds are watching and listening to our story, and they want in, bringing with them their diverse skills, from the biggest IT to healthcare companies. They are coming in to our industry in a big way. Such a trend really accelerated the green revolution, and we should be excited about it. Look, global aquaculture needs to triple by 2050. It's a daunting challenge, but it's even a more exciting opportunity. And I can see in this room that we are confident that we'll succeed at it. Our industry is skyrocketing. Aquaspark is motivated, and we're looking for those entrepreneurs and founders that are value aligned and want to keep this momentum going. We talked about the potential of collaboration a lot in this event. That is in our DNA. We want to work with everyone, and I'm here to meet everyone to figure out just how we can do this. So if you're interested and want to learn more, please reach out. I'll be here. Thank you.